This Shakespeare short focuses on the opening scenes of Julius Caesar. In our first quotation, we'll look at the response to Caesar's return. Do you now strew flowers in his way that comes in triumph over Pompey's blood? In the opening parade scene, Marullus is angry that people are celebrating Caesar when the civil war that led to the death of Pompey has only just finished and Pompey was regarded as a hero. The noun blood has connotations of pain and suffering which does not fit with the mood of celebration elsewhere in the scene. The noun blood metaphorically also reminds the reader of the damage that the civil war has done to Rome. Shakespeare is implying that the damage is still fresh and current. The juxtaposition of flowers and blood in this quotation evokes a sense of the tension that Caesar is causing. Rome is divided over his success. Shakespeare is implying that civil war may again be possible. In our second quotation, we look at the response of Caesar's friends and other Romans to his power. These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wing will make him fly an ordinary pitch. Cassius here is comparing himself to Caesar. He's jealous and he wonders why Caesar should have achieved so much when they were both born as ordinary Romans. The metaphor of the wing implies that Caesar has flown above him. Cassius refers to plucking the feathers. This would prevent Caesar from rising any further. It is a violent image which foreshadows the image from later in the play. The choice of verb make shows Cassius's desperation to have power over Caesar. His jealousy and his feelings of weakness make him grasp at anything to feel control. He continues, He doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus, and we petty men walk under his huge legs. Cassius shows his admiration for Caesar in this metaphor. He compares him to the Colossus of Rhodes, a giant statue which guarded the harbour entrance. The verb bestride shows Caesar's power. It literally means to step over the world. Cassius shows his bitterness in the line, we petty men. His insult to himself shows that he feels that Caesar sees them as inferior and he's angry about it. There's a mingled sense of resentment and respect in this quotation. The adjectives are both angry and impressed in combination. As we move further into the scene, the soothsayer appears. The soothsayer is a prophet who delivers warnings from the future. He steps out of the crowd to warn Caesar. The Ides of March refers to the 15th of March. The verb itself has power because the sentence is so short and so dramatic. It is a command and a warning. The soothsayer has the power in that moment, no matter how powerful Caesar is. Caesar shows his arrogance by ignoring this warning from the heavens. For the audience, this creates dramatic tension because they know how history will unfold. We then see Brutus's reaction to Caesar's rise. Poor Brutus, with himself, is at war. This is a central line of the play, because Brutus is torn between his duty to Rome and his loyalty to his friend. He does not believe Caesar should be king, but he's not willing to act against his friend yet. There's a sense of self-pity in his choice of the adjective poor. The metaphor of the war has larger echoes. This Rome has been at war with itself, and so Brutus's words foreshadow the return of chaos. The line touches on the central dilemma of the play. How do politicians balance their personal good with the good of the country they rule? 